All right then, gang, so now we're fetching all of the reviews and listing them on the home page. What I want to do is work on the details page. So when we click on one of these, it fetches that review and shows it in its entirety. So we need to work inside this component, review details, and we also need a way to grab from the URL, from the route, this parameter right here because it changes dependent on whatever review we click on. Right here it's four. If we click on a different one, we can see right here it's one, etc. So we need to grab that first of all. And the way we do that is by using a hook called use params, and that comes from the React router DOM package. So let me just paste that in at the top up here. So this hook right here is what we're going to use to grab whatever this value is. All we need to do is come inside the component and we say const and we destructure the name of the parameter we want and that's id in our case it's called id because we named it id right here and we set that equal to use params like so and invoke it and that's all there is to it so now that gives us the id and if i do this for example and output the id right here we're going to see that on the page just to see it works so we can see right here it's one if i go to a different one down here we can see it's five all right so that works okay so now we can use the id to make a fetch request to the endpoint to get a single review remember the endpoint for that is forward slash reviews forward slash the id of the review that we want so again, we're going to be using the use fetch hook to get this. So I'm going to import it at the top, first of all, and then I'm going to use it down here. So I'm going to say const. And again, we want the three values from the use fetch hook, which is these three values right here. So let's grab those and paste them here. So we're destructuring. We set that equal to use fetch, and then we pass in the endpoint. Now I'm going to grab this right here because we're gonna use that endpoint, but then at the end, we need to add on a forward slash and then the ID. So I'm just gonna concatenate that like so. And we have the ID because we grabbed it from the use params hook from the route. Okay, so now it's gonna perform this fetch to get that single review. Okay, so we need to do a similar thing down here. We need to show loading if it's loading and the error if there's an error. So let's paste those in as well. And also, let's log out the data. We'll do that first, console.log the data and see what this looks like. So if I save it now, I'm gonna come over here and inspect and go to the console, cross this off. And now we can see this object right here. This object is the single review with ID five. If we go back, I'm gonna clear this and go to a different one, click on this. And now we can see the review with the ID of three. So we're grabbing that review. Now we just need to show it in the template. So let's do that. Now I'm basically just gonna go back over here and grab this template right here inside the map because it's gonna be very, very similar. We will change it a little bit, but let's paste it in first of all and scoot this back. So we don't need a key anymore because we're not mapping through reviews. We will still have this ID, so it's still being styled by the same CSS. We output the rating. We're also going to output the title the same and the console list. And down here, we still want to output the body, but we don't want to use the substring method on it anymore. So get rid of that and also get rid of these. And again, we don't need the link, so we can delete that. Now, there's one problem with this still, and that's because we're still referring to the review right here. Now, that no longer exists because we're not cycling through the reviews and creating that local review variable. Instead, we just have data, and that data is the object right here instead. So we need to change review to data. So let's do that, data, and then data.title, and then data.body, and fingers crossed, this should work. And yeah, we can see that full review right here. So let's see if this works for the rest of them. Let's go back and choose Mario Golf. Yep, working, and let's try one more, Mario Kart all working. Awesome, so now we know how to fetch data from Strapi using the REST API. Next up, we're gonna switch things around and start to use GraphQL instead.